What is up guys? Welcome back to the garage. Monday, Mondays, Monday. Back to the R1 and the R1. I guess essentially it's now two R1s. Uh, this week we are gonna get the cooling system taken off, the front and rear wheels off, chain, majority of the accessories. Basically, like I said in the last one, I'm gonna make a chode of a bike just sitting on the stand so I can get into that in the weekends. Perfect. Now, I think today what I'll do is I'm gonna obviously pour out all of the old oil, which is actually new oil, because it's always run like maybe like 10, 15 times since I've had it, a couple of drives, and it looks like there is actually an engine mount bolt missing and I just noticed out of this guy here, which we're gonna have to find a suitable replacement for. Uh, the back one's in, yeah, all the others are in, so that's always, always good. Um, yeah, I'll drain the oil, and today I will look at draining all the coolant, maybe even taking a radiator and stuff off, because definitely gonna have to replace the crispy hoses. That's, uh, that's not nice at all. Ooh, oh, we've got a broken coolant bulb too. Yep, I have to buy another one of these. Get another one of these bad boys. Uh, now that, see this piece is gone. You could probably plastic weld it back together, but that actual piece is missing. So that kind of sucks, but yeah, fucking let's turn this into a chode. Let's get at it. And damn, that thing is looking good. Scary. Radiator is out. And that was, or is actually, some dirty water. I did top it up though. So most of that will just be like water from the hose. When I first got it, she didn't have much in there. So yeah, that's definitely gonna need a back flush when I get this on the engine stand. Cause that is, that's not good. That's not right for an R1. That's just not on. Anyway, exhaust, back into this. So many breakers. Mm. 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 Bike. Uh, exhaust. We got this turd off. This thing is really nice, actually. The head is a nice, not so nice, and definitely not nice. It is really freaking heavy, too, for the tiny little cap. Now, I'm not sure about this section here. So, you see this kind of like chody boy? I'm not sure what that is. This bit here. If that's a muffler or not, maybe I can have a look down that tube. Um, but that's the cap there, so my exhaust section that I have now is none of that. It's literally just that diameter all the way up, splits, and goes to the two mufflers. So it's a decap pipe. Obviously, no cap. Yeah, so bike pretty much torn down in that regard. We are going to get the engine stand or motorbike engine hoist thing under here lift up the bike we're gonna pull the swing arm maybe tomorrow probably tomorrow uh, I would like to get this off that's a huge part of this we'll get both wheels off tomorrow at the very least and hopefully the swing arm I don't think I need any tools for that not any specific tools anyway this I can get off with oh, maybe <laughs> with, with my fingers so that's good that's a good start um, there's actually a few things on here that were loose like the the exhaust section there that whole bracket was loose um yeah lots of bits and pieces some of the radiator clamps were already loose and yeah it's really good that i'm going over the whole bike again um so yeah that's uh that's it for a tuesday we'll get back into it tomorrow let's see what this guy does let's see if it actually has anywhere or like has anywhere to actually lift up Ooh. or even if it works i haven't actually jacked this thing up yet see under here let's see what we got to work with
Hell yeah. Bit of a mission. My whole upper body and lower body, all, all of me is pretty dead. Uh, don't do chest day and then try and manhandle a thousand CC bike. Probably not the best idea. But we got it to this point anyway. She is balanced, kinda sketchily, but she's there. She's done. Done and dust. That's where I'm gonna leave it tonight anyway because I am I'm wrecked. I haven't even eaten yet. So uh, what did we get done? We got we got all of this polished up, and she is looking schmick. Uh, whole tail section is off. I am actually pretty happy with that. Uh, whole front is about to come off tomorrow. We, uh, I think probably. What I'll do is I'll just lay the whole thing in this sit like as it is, drop it down as low as it goes, and we'll just chuck it on a blanket, lay it on the side, and kind of dismantle from there. Um, still a bit to go. I think ideally, the 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 thing I should have really done was probably left it on the actual paddock stands, right, and then dropped the motor separate. Um, that might have been a better way to do it, but live and learn. That's how I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna have this set up on the paddock stands and I'll just lift the motor back into it just to make my life a little bit easier because that was real sketch. That was so sketchy actually. Um, but all is well. Look at this. How cactus is this? It's like some solid sections too that just don't flex anymore. Pretty cooked. Someone has definitely been into this thing before. I think, ooh, looks like we got a bit of sealant there. So we'll see what the deal is with the clutch. It had a bit of a rattle. Ooh, nice, nice, free. Yes, boy. I think that's for the year box, actually. Nice. Um, yeah, we'll see what's inside the clutch. Uh, clutch cover and hopefully it's aftermarket and in good condition. And I think it's the, the slipper clutch springs that are rattling. That's what it feels like as well. Um, yeah, we'll just have to pull it apart, have a look. I got my, is it down here? No, no it's not. Uh, the comedic gasket set, full gasket, full engine gasket set for this. Uh, so we'll be doing that. Still waiting on the head gasket, but that's fine. Um, how do I get this thing onto an engine stand? I need to work on the head, which is obviously the whole section up here. The rear section is clutch and transmission. I can just drop this loom off. Damn, this loom is so complicated. Well, I guess it looks complicated when all the tape's being cut off. I guess if we just use two rear engine mounts uh, and mount it to an engine, uh, how the frick am I gonna do that? Uh, I'm gonna have to get some, some 90 degree angles. I'm gonna have to get some angles, I think, some mild steel, something pretty decent. Cause you got the one, two, three, four, and a flat plate for your engine stand. If I can get some holes going, yeah, that should work. That'll work. I'll get that on a stand easy, I reckon. Engine is on its stand. Pretty straightforward. Well, kinda. Did take all morning, but you know, gotta do what you gotta do. You can see we got our angle brackets and stuff here. Pretty simple. I just actually got some um, all thread. Instead of trying to bind bolts, this actual size, and I use lock nuts and some permanent Hermitex, the Hermitex red Loctite. So that's essentially a bolt now. And then, yeah, you can see it. Worked pretty bloody good. And it is sturdy as all shit. That is pretty much how this will sit for a few days at least while I dig into all this other stuff. It does give you a good oversight and let you have a look at everything on the motor too. You had to turn it upside down and whatnot. And see, you run water in the cooling system for a while by the looks of it. And that's likely all the crustiness that's in. Yeah, it looks like it, the crustiness that's in these 
tubes in these radiator hoses. It's going to make it real easy to remove our air injection. You can see all this unit here, just chilling on top. It's going to be easy to pull off the throttle bodies. You can see this one's fly-by-wire. So we've got the electronic motor there that controls that. But yeah, damn, I am happy with that. And it moves now. It's going to be, you know, like mobile in here instead of just this lump on the ground. But that is that. That's that, and that's how that's going to sit for a bit. We are now looking at the tail section here. We're going to take the wheel off. We're going to get the sprocket off. We're going to get all the parts off the swing arm. Uh, I've got a whole lot of stuff in the car. Oh, man. Now that I can see it in the light at this angle, dudes, that is nasty. That is so broken off in there. Oof, yeah. Look at that. Always surprises me how quite uh, light everything is. Compared to this, that's all steel. There's a little aluminium. Everything I go to take off, I nearly yeet across the shed. It's just, I just have anticipation of like the whole swing arm being huge and heavy and that is like, what the hell? That's, yeah, what the hell? Anyway, let's get this straight valve out. Now, time to Google how to change a tire. Not sure what happened first, whether the battery died or the SD card was full, but one was dead and the card was full. So, anyway, uh, tire is on beaded and we got the shredder valve in and cap on we got it up to 36 psi no issue she's looking pretty good actually especially compared to this toasted thing all the cracks and whatnot in there you can actually hear you could actually hear it splitting as i had the spoons under it like trying to pry it off you can see where it's actually so hard it's holding the shape of where it's been pried <laughs> wow yeah, so that's toast. This guy, whew, she's looking good. Now we just gotta go around and do the front. Uh, pretty much the same process and then we'll get to balancing it. I gotta go actually grab the balancer and build it. I gotta put it together first before we can actually do this, but shouldn't be too hard. Anyway, the front tire should go on pretty easy like this. Oh, damn. How good do they look now? Compared to what they were before. Uh, oh, and the tires. That's some ugly stuff. But we got her on the balancer. Uh, had to put that together, which wasn't actually too hard. Just had to figure out what was going on. And then obviously you just let her spin. It's a heavy spot. We end up down the bottom. Chuck a weight or two on the top. And I think this is going to need minimal weights to kind of balance her out too, because she will sit right about here i think it was roughly about there and then she seemed pretty good oh now it's going to do the opposite or maybe it's set this way there we go that's better so a couple of weights at the top maybe one and we just kind of want to get her to balance out real nice and then we'll do the front as well but not tonight it's getting pretty late and i'm ready to actually just go game because yeah it's been a long day stoked with how far i got today we got the motor up on the stand with our little oh, quote unquote custom brackets there uh, these ones on this side you actually have to round them because if they are still square like this they won't let you kind of angle and move back and forward um so that's probably the only real tricky part and i think that that's like what three mil thick maybe two and a half two so just galvanized stuff, nothing too expensive. We got our tires on, uh, the old ones off, the wheels cleaned. The thing that actually took the longs today was getting the old stickers off. The front wheel, you remember, had the white stickers around there. That took for freaking ever to get that crap off because uh, it wasn't one sticker like some of them are. It was segments and they were on there for a long time. So yeah, that was a nightmare, but we're looking pretty good. Nearly achieved our goal of the bike rolling this weekend so tomorrow we'll get back into it and we'll smash it out
so everything else is clean now we can essentially put the swing arm back on i need to grease these uh needle bearings i've gone and wiped all the grease out of all of them because they were oh well it wasn't bad it was just old the same with this guy here that runs through this guy in here and i think there's probably another needle bearing in this bone here so we'll have to take that off we'll re-grease those and we'll chuck it on but pretty much ready to have the swing arm back on front wheel is balanced so that can go on rear wheel is balanced that can go on we don't have our sprocket yet but that's not a huge issue we can take the wheel back off in the future which is going to be easy because we now have bobbins so we'll have a we'll have a crack at that and let's see how that looks there we have it tires wheels front brakes frame rolling back together good fucking start good weekends worth of work too um she is looking mint boys pretty much we are just going to be looking at the engine from here on out like there's all the small you can see they kind of accumulate over time all the small tiny little brackets that need cleaning um i need to go get some more blue loctite just to make sure everything's in place but we've got all our brackets some of our rubbers uh the rear brake needs to go on rear brake line I need to clean up the uh, rear sets and all of that probably not going to repaint this this is the uh, tanks uh, bracket tank, tank mounts to that holds the battery down as well to an extent a whole lot of small things to go but damn we got a whole lot done pretty bloody impressive I didn't however get to cleaning up all the higher sung parts which is eh, neither here nor there it's not a biggie uh, I'll probably probably do that over the week just little bits here and there, a shock, a wheel, a disc, disc rotor, you know, little bits and pieces, get that done. Um, but yeah, we got it done. We got all our goals set. So, I guess that pretty much calls it for this video. Um, that's my weekend done. I'm gonna go upstairs, have dinner, do all that kind of fun stuff before I start my new work week. And yeah, next week, probably gonna pull the whole loom off this. Uh, we'll get the head off and start fucking around with the motor see what we can uh, get into get ourselves into trouble with the clutch and whatnot and try and sort all of this out so that should be interesting but yeah. thanks for watching like comment subscribe i uh, really appreciate all the views that I'm, i've been getting for this uh, r1 project and yeah see you on the next one guys